So you're piloting a scheme in the north, and this is to do with patient transfer services, which is different from patient transport services. Yes, this is patient transfer services, so those who are going for treatment off Ireland, basically, to make it nice and simple, so those that need to travel down to the airport. How is the service provided island-wide apart from this pilot? At the moment it's via ta- via contracts with taxi services. So ta- the taxis will be running patients down to the airport in time for their morning flights. So this is going to be operated, this pilot scheme is, is being operated by Bus Vannon. How will their service differ from what's being offered at the moment? hope is that it won't differ that much at all. That's the whole point. Um, in terms of pickup, the pickup times will be very similar. So I know there was rumours going round that passengers were going to be picked up at ungodly hours in the morning um, in order to try and get their flight because people were going to be doing round robin trips all around the island. That's not correct at all. Um, passengers will see very little change in their pickup times. I've already had that confirmed when I raised the concerns myself. Um, and that it will be a, hopefully a smooth running service that will get people down to the airport and back again in time. Now this is a pilot scheme. What will you be using to measure the success of the pilot scheme? Well the biggest measurement for me is the actual patient care that's uh, provided. As I say this isn't about doing some radical change to the service, it's delivering the same service in a different place. So for me the main measure is what is happening with the patients. Are they receiving the same or similar service when it was being provided elsewhere? Now when you're talking about um, patient transfers to off-island medical appointments, you're dealing with people who are one way or another in a very vulnerable state. Mm. Um, What safeguards are in place to make sure that they do get the care and the treatment they need between the home and the destination off island? Well, obviously, before anyone goes for patient transfer, they are assessed as to whether they are capable of undertaking the journey. So that's a very important thing to say, that although we're talking about um, people who are ill and needing treatment, we're not talking the sort of people you'd be sending over by air ambulance. We're not going to be shoving them on a bus and taken to the airport. It is about about people who now will go over for, say, eye appointments, people who go over over for um, orthopaedic surgery, who, who use the taxi services currently. So the processes and safeguards in place are the same that are there now to ensure, firstly, the person is fit for travel, and secondly, that they can get there and back in an appropriate way. Certain patients, of course, get escorts that go with them as well. That will not change. Um, that that process is still exactly the same. Now, has there been a, a tender process for this before the pilot scheme was launched, or is this something uh, that you you don't have to set up a tender process for? No, it didn't require a tender process. Um, it was purely the department working with Bus Vannon um, to see if we can provide the service in house. Um, and we, I think that it's very worthwhile trying, trialing it. And when we know um, how it's gone, if it is a success, then we can look to roll it out around the rest of the island. So there's no formal contract with the taxi operators about the system for the system that currently operates elsewhere in the island. Not for what we're now doing in the north of the island. And what's the timeline for rolling this out if it proves to be successful? Well, let's get the trial out of the way first and see if it's if, if it is working the way we expect it to be. A trial is a good way of seeing any teething problems that come up as well. Um, but as you rightly say, Bus Van, and you mentioned there at the very start, also have other, other um, are undertaking other work for the Department of Health and Social Care. And I think this all ties in neatly together. So the important thing is the experience of the patients. And that will be key to this. And why was the north of the island chosen for the trial? Is there a particular reason why the north was chosen? Yes, there is. Um, There's several reasons. Um, Firstly, in terms of the north, um, the patients tend to be more spread out. So geographically, um, you're not you're not having them combined up in the same. For instance, although you may have more patients coming from Douglas, they're in a more geographically confined area. So in terms of the patients, it was a more spread out one. So it puts the system to the test. But equally, of course, as you would expect with them being more spread out, it's also the more costly service because they are the patients basically furthest away from the airport. So it's worth trialling to see what the experience is for patients, if it makes things more joined up, and obviously as well, if there is cost savings to be made. Do you have an estimate at this stage as to what cost, cost savings could be? 
Well, like I say, let's get the trial out of the way and let's see what the results of that trial are. And then if it is successful, we can look to see what benefit it would have rolled out around the rest of the island. Now, looking at the patient transport service, which is for patients being transported to on-island appointments mm-hmm. around the island during the day, um, that was transferred to Bas Van in, is it at the start of July. It was um, indeed. How successful is that proving? Have you had much feedback on that yet? I mean, it's early days. Well, I'm going to probably curse myself now and actually say at the moment I have had no negative feedback about the service since it's been taken over from Bus Vannon. Um, I don't, as far as I'm aware, Bus Vannon hasn't had any negative feedback either. Um, and I'm pretty certain if there was, you guys here at Manx Radio would probably be one of the first people to know as well. And are there other areas across the department you're looking at working with Bus Vannon on? There's other areas where I think we could work close in cooperation and we should be doing that across all government departments anyway, to be perfectly honest. If one government department has the ability to help another, well, we should be doing that. I've argued in politics for a long time we need to get rid of this silo mentality within government and I think this is an example of two departments coming together in proper partnership working and long may it continue. (laughs) 